Hi, I got asked how I updated my Mobular 6 to Crossfire. So, let's start. Um, we need so four of those five uh, pets in the upper right corner. Um, the upper row of four is from left five volts, ground, RX1 inverted and RX1 not inverted. We need the not inverted for crossfire. And a little lower is the TX1, which is only not inverted. So let's start with better flight to disable the SPI and activate crossfire. So connect we need enable you are one serial rx you are two is blocked by uh, smart audio so we can't use it um, save and the configurations tab. We switch from SPI to Serial and do Crossfire. And if you have uh, used an RSSI AUX channel, you can you may now deactivate it as Crossfire is transmitting the signal through the protocol. And that's done in better flight. Now we move on to soldering. It's a little tricky because it's all very small. So Just pretend them. No. A little off camera now. So on the connector so but we have pretend all four pads we want to use now just get some excessive solar from it so okay Start with the wires that came with the receiver. From left to right, it's easier to access. So, a little more tin. Volts. Five 
5 volt is the trickiest. Ground. For the RX, I use the white one. That came with a receiver. For TX, I use the yellow one. Just come out in. Okay. So all those wires are connected now to the controller. Uh, okay. So you can give them now a little twist. Okay, on the other side, we can now desolder the original antenna from the SPI. This is the this black one. The other one is for the video transmitter. Okay. And... Now I will glue the new transmitter with some double sticky foam tape. And the tip. Uh, we need so okay. So, uh, sorry. First wire transmitter, the upper side, the lower side. I use, uh, I free up the four connectors we want to solder, and the rest is covered with the tape. Um, get it up. So. New receiver goes right on top somewhere a little aft behind the line of those two um, grommets and it should be pretty right centered to not interfere with the canopy. Um. I see I only have about one millimeter from left to right. Okay, looks good. So first pre tin solar pads. Shiny. Not better man off. Uh, don't. So. <clears throat>
Okay. Turn it around. Oh, looking good. So Order. Okay. A little flimsy or And I start with the yellow one, which goes to the most forward pit, which is Crossfire RX. And the yellow one, which is Crossfire RTX. Okay, and the third one is uh, 5 volts. And the last one will be the ground wire. A uh, little short. Okay, done. Oh, five, one. Could, five volts could be better, but it's okay, just correct it. Okay. That's the modification to the receiver, and now we need a new antenna. For this little one, I don't use a full uh, crossfire antenna, I use a shorted one. So I just grabbed some uh, pig, uh, UFL pigtail, cut it up. Let's strip it somewhere right there. And about 37 millimeter or 1.5 inches. Um, we need to strip the outer insulation, but not touch the inner 
part of the uh, coax cable. Strip down all those little wires to get to the inside. Awesome. Okay. I have to clean them fairly good at the base to not interfere with the antenna part. Okay, and now trim the antenna to the desired length from that point. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you just have to install the antenna on the receiver and you are good to reassemble your modular. That's done. I will bend up the antenna to uh, upwards. Um, where's the other one? So here was my first one. The second one is a backup for it. Where I all have done the same thing. Oh, that's it.